Um, well, shoot, I've been listening to hip hop music for quite a long time now. Um, you know, I, I think some of the biggest stuff with it, it's, it's kind of a culture thing, you know, and um, coming from different backgrounds of people. And I think especially recently, you know, hip hop has expanded um, a lot. It's not it's not all about being from urban America or in, the, or in uh, poverty or in the ghettos and stuff like that. There's a lot of people that um, are kind of expanding on it. It's all about, um, you know, just expressing how they feel and things that they've grown, how, how they've grown up and different stuff like that. First impressions is uh, usually the beat. If the beat's good, the song's good. So that's my first impression. Um, positive, I think it gives people an outlet to express themselves. The impact on society as a whole, I feel like it just depends on like what, what they gain, what they take out the music. I just feel like it's a way for some people to express themselves in a different way and it gives them an opportunity to make a lot of money like I said earlier. A lot of the music now is the trap trap music and all that stuff. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, Migos and all those cool all those fools. But um it it's good. I society is I think it's gotten better over the years, but um it's definitely affected society. I think, um, you know, pop culture and pop music mirrors culture at times, and at times I think culture mirrors, uh, you know, music, and uh, um, I, I don't think that, you know, the generation that listens to hip-hop or those that listen to hip-hop are necessarily more in, I think the stereotype is out there that, you know, that there's negative associations and that kind of thing, but, you know, uh, Wow, that's a good question right there. Uh, I feel like it kind of degrades women. It's shown that if you want because most of the women you see on hip-hop music, they're usually wearing, like, tight stuff. They're they, they basically showing off to like the viewers and stuff. And they're basically shaking their ass and twerking and all that stuff. So it doesn't really put a good image out there for women. And maybe that can communicate to some younger women that uh, if you want to get noticed or you want to get any attention out there, you might have to uh, go down that path and you might have to start like shaking your ass or like taking off some of your clothes and stuff like that. I would say they kind of degrade women a little bit, you know, in their music videos. They're not wearing many cl much clothes nowadays. Um, kind of talking bad about them, so I would say it's more degrading, if anything. Um, but it's, um, I think it subjects women to sex, and everybody just tries to get sex from women. No, uh, I mean, you know, if you. What is it, MTV Cribs? Do they still have it? Yep. I'm probably dating myself. I, I, you know, you look at that, and there's not a lot of property there. But, um, you know, so so the, the artists themselves are disconnect from poverty at some point once they become successful. Um, you know, in it, get, it does, I think, give a voice to people that may not be otherwise heard. Um, but I don't... I don't think that in any way hip hop would be considered in my mind a causal factor of poverty. You know, I, I think there are certain individuals that our society allows to be overpaid, uh, whether it's uh, the CEO at GE or a, a rap artist. Um, or an NFL player, etc. Uh, you know, making hundreds of millions of dollars per year um, is excessive. 